Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap smart siren with the help of a Sonoff SV and a 12 volt 120 decibel siren. Then with the use of home assistant automations you can trigger the siren whenever an event takes place like for example if a window or door gets open when you are away from home. You can start with a very simple automation and you can evolve to very complicated ones which can be triggered by motion sensors, magnetic sensors, tilt sensors or even a smart IP camera. In Home Assistant you can even create an alarm control panel which works just like a physical alarm panel but I will leave this for another episode. What you will need A Sonoff SV flashed with Tasmota although you could also use it with the default Sonoff firmware and the Sonoff Home Assistant integration if you like. A 12 volt siren such as this one, available for a few dollars on Amazon, eBay or AliExpress. A 12 volt power supply, at least 2 amps. Last but not least, you will want a suitable box for the Sonoff SV. Since I will have mine hidden away, I don't really care too much about the aesthetics so I just picked up an old plastic box I found lying around in one of my crates filled with all sorts of junk. If you want to flash Tasmota, you will also need an FTDI adapter. These are very cheap, literally $1 to $2 a piece from AliExpress. Since there are countless videos that explain in detail how to flash Tasmota on a Sonoff device and in order to keep this video short, I will skip the part of flashing the Sonoff SV with Tasmota, but you can easily find these videos using a quick YouTube search. Solder the siren wires to the output part of the Sonoff SV, making sure you have the right polarity. If you get it wrong, it won't brick your siren, but it simply won't work, so you'll have to switch the wires around. At the other end of the Sonoff SV, find the input which can be fed any current between 5 and 24 volts. Use a transformer that has the same voltage as the siren. In my case, the siren can take between 12 and 24 volts, so I am using a 12 volt transformer. Make sure to disconnect the jumper from the Sonoff SV, otherwise it will regulate the output voltage to only 5 volts. Connect two female to male breadboard jumper cables with the female part into the power supply jumper pins. Connect both the power supply and the input wires to the output side of the transformer, making sure to observe correct polarity as in the picture. Once you have the Sonoff flashed and all the wires in place, connect it to your network and configure the MQTT server settings. Assuming you already have MQTT integration in your home assistant, Restart Home Assistant and once it is back online, you should be able to find the Sonoff SV as a new switched entity. Check that you can successfully trigger the siren from Home Assistant. If it works, proceed to create a new automation. Name it something suggestive. You will need a magnetic door sensor, which is already integrated into Home Assistant. You will create the automation as follows. Start with an empty automation. I will name it Siren Triggered when front door opens, as this is what I want this automation to do. As a triggering device, I will choose Front Door Magnetic Sensor. As a trigger for my automation, I will choose Front Door Magnetic Sensor Opened. The condition is optional. In my case, I would like the automation to trigger only when my mobile phone is detected to be away from home. However, in this instance, I will choose the opposite, otherwise my automation will not work as I am currently at home. For this action device, I will choose Sonoff SV and the action is Turn on Sonoff SV. I could save it as it is, but I don't want it to go on forever. 
I want it to sound for 3 minutes and then to turn itself off. So I will add a delay of 3 minutes. For this demonstration, however, I will set it to 5 seconds only. Then I will choose another action to turn off Sonoff SV. I would also like Home Assistant to inform me that my alarm was triggered, so I will add a Telegram notification. Then I choose save and my automation is ready. I will now open the front door to see if my automation worked. As you can see, this little siren is quite loud indoors and I received a telegram notification on my phone. If you don't know how to configure telegram notifications, check out my video in the top right hand corner. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, you might consider subscribing to the channel. In any case, thank you for watching and until the next video, all the best.